Hello everybody, welcome back. We had a bit of bad news on the Land Rover and it was this. It's probably backwards, but failed. Failed the MRT. After all the work we did it failed, but only on one thing. Um, it had one advisory, which was um, drop link at the rear, had a little bit of place, so I will do that. And the other thing it had was the ball joints on the front. We didn't notice any play on there, but obviously when he's got a pry bar in there, he's got play in there, so I'll show you what we're doing. Here it is. We've already got the top one out. There's many videos on this on the internet, but these kits you can get off um, Amazon for like 40 quid. Um, so we've got the top one out in the same way. Just push the ball joint through um, this little cup using this extra large G clamp style thing. Press, you like. We've got um, two new ball joints that we're going to press in. Um, we bought this new gas as well because we, our old one was it just used normal butane, were we? Yeah. Butane bottles. This one is map gas, which is supposed to be able to get up to 2,400 degrees. Um, so this should be able to get that hot enough um, to get this out. We did the top one quite easy. Obviously, the top one's got a lot less um, steel around it. It's a lot bulkier at the bottom, so it takes a bit longer to heat up. Um, and the tool sort of only fits on the edge, it just just on the edge of this, um, the one we've got. It has got different sizes with it. This is the closest one we could find. Um, we also had the um, ball joint stuck in the hub itself, so we had to get that out as well. We had to use heat up and this tool on that. We put a load of pressure on, we heated it up and it just popped and come straight out. Um, the top one did press out after a while. But is smoke. Yeah, that smoke is deadly. I don't know whether it's off the grease burning or off a bit of the rubber off the boot or something like that. But that smoke, there ain't no boot left on there, is there? It's got to be the grease. The no, what whatever of the smoke is that comes out there, it's it's like you've been CS gassed in the face. Your eyes start running. It's deadly. So, watch that stuff. We was considering buying one of them... Um, induction tools uh, but a good one is like 500 quid um, this gas was quite expensive from Screwfix you can get it cheaper off Amazon but from Screwfix that was 22 99 and the top was 70 quid so just to get that was pretty expensive but this is the first time we've done this job we've dropped the hub out before and refitted boots but we've never um, done the actual ball joints so we've been and bought them it costs 35 quid for two from the local supplier. We'll keep eating this until it comes off. Looks like it might be going. Yep. Definitely pushing it out of there. Probably allowed to eat now, Dad. Let's get a nice zoom on there. Start turning that. It's definitely going. Easy. Yeah, it's broke, it's broke the seal. What we've done as well is the bit of the ball joint that sticks out down there, we chopped that off because it was bottoming out on the tool. Yeah. This is Damart, so we want to. Got a couple of welding gauntlets. They're yeah, the best welding gauntlets, the cheaper ones, but it stops it burning your hands. So the trick to this is massive amounts of heat. And then should start moving we can only get so far with this I don't know if it's going to go up. I don't know if it's going to push it far enough for it to come out or if I'm going to have to change stick something else on it like a socket but yeah it's moving yeah. Forward, isn't it? so we'll we'll whip this off and we'll put something a bit thinner that will go all the way into the hole we just wanted a bit something a bit substantial on there to begin with so he pressed on the entire thing Right, so we've uh, we just took that piece off. I'm just using the tool on its own. Yeah, it's pushing that out nice now. Look. There we go. So that's the setup we're using there, and as you can see, it's pulling the uh, the ball joint in. It will get, when it gets so far up, it's going to come to a stop and we're going to have to re jig. But it was only big enough to do it like this. But yeah, it's coming in nicely. Just 
to it. So I think that's starting to top out on there. So we'll readjust. We've rejigged and we're pulling it in. It's damn tight to get in, but it is giving all the way up, as you can see. It's starting to close the gap up now. Yep, nearly in. One more, probably. One more. Ready? Yeah, I think that's it. That's in, so that's the bottom one in. What we're going to do is we're going to get this one really hot before we start pressing in, just to make it go in easier. That one's already hot from the trim and it went straight and pressed it in. So we'll get that one nice and warm, and then that should help us press it in easier. A bit of tool modification. It's got a really thin flange on the end, which is bent when we've tried to do it, so we're cutting it off. We're just gonna, so we've got the same thickness all the way down. So the top one's nearly in, as you can see there. We have to make that one's not spinning. We have to make this thing to go on the top of it there. Through that. And it just clamps it and it's a lot sturdier than the thing that was on it. Because it kept trying to move about. Um, so that has helped. And also putting it in the right one's helped. But as you can see, a bit of tube, because we can't get the socket on there. I don't know if we can go in any further, you know. No, I think it's... I think we're in there. I think we've landed. We'll just try one, if not. That's one more, yeah. But, yep, yeah, that's them two in. Absolute nightmare, really. But, now your spanner's coming off. It's sliding off. So, I think that's it. They are in. Yeah. Stick it in the drawer. So, that is now done. That's got, we have got to put a cable to it around the boot, but you can see there, you've got two new ones on there. The only thing left to do to make it have a clean MLT is the, let's give you some light, that drop link it also failed on there. So it looks like it's had a new one on that, so at some point look, and it needs one on here. So I'm going to put a drop link on there, I'm just going to cut that one off. Nice and easy, cut through the top, cut through that bit there, and then stick a new one on. And then it should go back in and have a clean MOT. So we'll do a video on the completed car, looking inside and outside pretty soon, once it's been MOT'd.